Oh god, I bet everybody wishes they could forget that screen in a hurry. Anyway guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here once again. And welcome to a brand new Let's Play of... Of... Something by uh, Sony, apparently. Of... The fuck am I making that sound for? Sucker Punch! Sanzaru! Yeah, we're doing... Well, here we are in the fucking Sly Trilogy, I. And I'm recording it in lovely, beautiful, crisp, standard definition. Fuck you, Hop Hog! Fuck you, Sony, for no letting me capture, for rendering my HD PVR useless, uh, for capturing PlayStation 3 games. Now, it's no say bad in this instance, because Sly Cooper is, was, originally, a swine and, you know, standard def game. So when I think about it that way, I mean, it's not that bad, okay? But it would have been nice to record this in HD, that's for sure. But, whatever. We're here now, and we're gonna do it. I've already done Sly uh, 1, as you know, and Sly 2, which is regarded as everybody's favourite. Yep, that is definitely Sly 2. That is definitely Sly, I mean. And that blue background did not take up the entirety of the screen. Tut tut Sanzaru. Um... Yeah, cutscenes. Oh, Buzz, this is um, this is all my stuff here. Actually, it says I've only done 99% there, but I've beaten the whole thing. Oh God, you're seeing all the antagonists before they appear in the game. Spoilers! Fuck. Wait, how do, how do I delete all my shit then? Um, I don't mind deleting all my save data because I've already uh. You know, I've already platted the game on the uh, HD collection. Okay, no wait, seriously, how... How do I delete my shit? Okay, I, I better I better look into this. I may have to delete my whole save data. I better no bit have to do that. That'd be stupid as fuck. No, no, wait, it's right there. Uh, I press start to resume game. I'm an idiot. I don't re read new game. Right. Anatomy, that has nothing to do with the game, I promise! Right, and we can't even mess about with the faces anywhere with analog sticks. Very disappointing. I hear you, Blizzard. No, Sly, I'm the wizard, and you're sitting duck. I read you loud and clear, Lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it, you're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've gotta loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, what's your status? Well, I've established myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. Alright, yes we will. It's quite easy, in fact. So yeah, slide two. Makes a lot of changes from Sly 1. You know, I said several times in my Let's Play that Sly 1, it was just really a bit of a Crash Bandicoot inspired game, you know? Uh, this one definitely has its own identity and it was carried throughout the rest of the series, you know? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably bring this up a lot throughout the Let's Play, but even though I do like it, this is definitely my least favourite Sly game. Everybody's, it's everybody's favourite and they love it, and we're totally, um, on a fucking whale skeleton here, um, but I don't know. Mm, I've been that a few times. Like, we'll see. Uh, we'll we'll see. Maybe my opinion will become much more positive or something. I don't know. Sly three still remains my favorite by a long shot, but Sly four is really good as well. And yeah, one of the massive changes is that Bentley's just no a voice in your heat anymore. We get to play as him. As we will uh, momentarily. A majority of the game is played as Sly, but I think I think that's actually one of my and right off the bat problems with Sly 2, in fact. Yeah, one of my biggest problems right off the bat with Sly 2 is that apart from Sly, Bentley and Murray, they're not as fun to play as, that's all. Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. Oh, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Murray should be moving into position for your rendezvous. 
I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. Alrighty then. And we have our typical um, beginning of the... That dude can totally know here, the smash and glass there. And yeah, you gotta break everything for coins! Because you gotta buy loads of shit in this game. And yeah, one other thing that definitely carries over from the first game is the cheese factor. This game, maybe not, maybe not quite as much as the first, but there's still a lot of cheese, you know. Just take the long way around. If memory serves, you need to jump and hit the circle button to run along ropes. You'd be right, Murray. And yeah, just like in Banjo 2 before it, we have all our friggin' abilities right off the bat. You gotta appreciate shit like this. This, this sort of thing is setting the tone and shit of the epic adventure to come on. There's no real purpose to it, it's just to look nice, like those cars below there. Yeah, you're, you're gonna see a lot of this. You get out whenever I let's play a Ratchet and Clank game, I see boxes and it's like, Oh, I gotta smash them all up! Give me all those bolts, smash that, oh god. Murray! You've done some growing up! Greetings, citizen. I hope you weren't harmed by my meteoropic entrance. No, Murray, I, I kept it a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe, only destruction. Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course! It is nothing before the Murray. Right, he's undergone the severe personality change as well, apparently. Yeah, he was... Murray was so cute in the first game. He's like a little round hippo baby. Now he's like... He looks like he's in from Wacky Races or some shit. Which, technically, he would fit in just fine, actually. It would have been a good replacement for Blubber Bear. Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the door from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. Hey, Off we go then. Spoiler alert: If we fall from this height, it's game over. Cooper, Inspector Fox, as beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable, you always return to the scene of the crime. And you have a new voice! Stolen anything? Yet. Oh really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Comnita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts? Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! <laughs> You can't run forever! And yep, here we go. 
Right, and you then you have to hold doing our one to run. Right, one thing this probably would have been a cool little scene in 3D, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, this is where things get fun. Hey, come back here, Ringtail. This is getting a little hot. You guys go warm up the van. I'll keep Carmelita busy. You're all going to jail. Pick me up at the rendezvous. Don't wanna. Hey, come back here, Ringtail. You said that already. <laughs> oh shit! I want to get the coins. <laughs> Wait a minute, didn't we just already pass this you monument? Right, seems Murray's still driving though. 